Peace world, it's your girl, the real Tony Hickman. And this is a quick car chronicle as one of my friends have labeled my car videos. Um, but I just want to make sure that y'all know that my Alika lessons are not pointing the finger because that's something that I work on in my life. Even when I am upset because of something that has happened, I am disappointed because of something that has happened. I, I'm now retraining my thought process to look back in the mirror at myself and see how I can nurture me more or how I can look at it and see my, my pattern in this situation and how I have played a role that has caused the dis disruption and the reason that I feel a certain way because it's really never anybody else's fault. And I know y'all hear me talking about that, but that's 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 a, um, a sign of like victimhood when we keep on, when we keep on identifying something outside of ourselves as being responsible for our reality or the circumstances that I have happened in our life. Now that doesn't mean that all things have not played a part in the outcome of our situation, but it's all in how we have perceived everything. Because our changes happen when we decide to take full responsibility, full responsibility for ourselves. And taking full responsibility for ourselves really does mean not pointing the finger. Um, even when it can be so easy to do so. And I've done it like so many of us have done it. We've, we've done it, we do it still. We'll do it unknowingly. And we're constantly pointing the finger at everybody else without looking at the mirror, looking at our internal conflict that we have within ourselves. So um, I think that is the message that is being starting to be embraced in my soul is like, I don't wanna judge anybody. I, Everybody is on their own journey. You have a right to be where you are. I cannot force you, fix you, or try to. And you have a right to be where you are. So in that process, you have to go through your own process. And sometimes we are not supposed to be a part of your process. There are certain things that are not supposed to be a part of your process. And when we can acknowledge that fully, um, it takes the responsibility off of everybody else and, and we have to deal with ourselves. And so that is, that is the key is dealing with yourself, taking the initiative and making sure that you are correcting you and being the best version of you and working on being you. And when, when things happen where it's so easy to point the finger, so easy to say, I'm this way because this person did this. We don't have to be this way. Maybe your circumstances have come because somebody else participated in your life. That's all of us. But you have power. We have so much power to change our reality. And so if we have that power to change our reality, then it first starts with us changing us, not pointing the finger and looking at somebody else and playing the victim. Because none of us are victims. I'm not a stroke victim. I'm not a brain aneurysm victim. I'm a survivor. I've been through it. It touched my life. It helped change me because it taught me lessons. And I'm a survivor because of that. I'm a conqueror because of that. I choose the language that uplifts and not breaks me down and makes me feel low vibrational because it's simply saying that, you know, it's every, everybody else's fault. It's stress fault. No, maybe I need to learn how to deal with my stress. And who that one, that one right there, learning how to deal with my stress. <laughs> learning to deal with me. And see, understanding also that stress is simply because of how I am seeing something happening in my life. I'm allowing my energy to go off centered because of some of how I choose to ingest what is happening in my life. But does it really have to stress me out? 
does it really have to stress you out do we really have to get stressed out or is it because we are seeing situations in the wrong way because we're we're still being a victim even in our stress we are still being a victim life happens how can we change that energy so we are not so riled up you know because i i do I, I do master i have worked on mastering that in my life i haven't mastered it completely because there are some things where i would just burst out crying um yeah i'll burst out crying y'all but i am i have worked on mastering what stresses me out or allowing stress in my life because i acknowledge some habits that I have that I still need to break. And you have them too. It ain't just me. You have your own habits that you need to break. You have your own situations in your life that you need to change. And you all you also have those those perceptions that stress you out simply because of how you see it as a problem instead of a lesson. Now I'm I'm telling you this because that's a lesson I am still ingesting and learning within myself. But, you know, maybe we can all help each other break the box. You know what I mean? Because, man, if we could break the box of being stressed, when we can break the box of being stressed and allowing stress to conquer us, man, who can y'all imagine? Use your imagination for that. I love y'all. Peace.